So in Python 2, let's actually declare and initialize two variables. Let's say a equal to three and b equal to five. So if I say a is greater than b, and if I print out this thing, uh, it's going to print out the result of a is greater than b, which is going to be false again. So let's go ahead and uh, run this Python uh, operators demo.py is the name of the file that I've given. So I'll say operators demo.py. And yeah, there you go, false. And also notice here, in case of Java, uh, false f in false is actually uh, a small letter in case of Java. But in Python, you can notice that false, uh, I mean f in false should be a capital letter. And same is the case with true as well. The t in true should be a capital letter. But it's not the case with Java. In Java, it's all small letters. Whereas in Python, the first letter of either true or false must be a capital letter or an uppercase letter. Right, so that's one thing note to notice and uh, in the same way, let's say a less than b and this is going to be true. Uh, as you know, it's all simple stuff. And now let's do the equality check. So even in Python, the uh, to do the equality check, you use uh, two equal to like that. So this is what we use to check for equality between two values or two variables. So let's run this and let's see Python operators demo.py, it says false because obviously three is not equal to five, right? So, um, actually let's change this to three to let's to just show you that it actually works, right? So it's going to be true right here because a is equal to B, which means three equal to three is a true statement. So yeah, that's all about the log, uh, comparison operators. And now let's actually use the logical operators to combine multiple comparison operators in a same statement, right? So uh, A is greater than B, let's say is our first condition and I'm changing back the value of B to five and A is greater than B and I want another, I want to include another comparison operator here. So I'll say, and, so and is the logical operator which is used to implement logical and operation. In case of Java, you have seen that logical and is two ampersands together without a space. But in Python, it's just A and D, just like that. It's simple and easy to remember as well. So yeah, it might vary for uh, different programming languages that you're writing code in. So you'll have to read the documentation of the programming language that you're writing. But in Java, it's two ampersands and in Python, it's just and, right? Anyway, so A equal to B and followed by, let's say another, let's use another thing. Let's say A is less than or equal to B uh, or let's change this to A is greater than B and A is less than or equal to B. So this actually obviously looks kind of nonsense it's, it looks stupid right well anyways let's go ahead and execute that i think we you already got the idea of it so it's going to be obviously saying false because here we are saying a a greater than b and again we are comparing if or we are checking if a is less than b so obviously it's going to be false because we are using an and operator here but let's actually uh, use a logical or operator and in case of python we use or just o followed by r uh, you know, to do the logical OR operation. So let's go ahead and uh, let's run this thing and it says true. So that's how you do the logical OR operator in Python. All right, so the next thing is to do the logical NOT operation. So I'll say NOT OFF and I'll enclose all of this within this thing. So we know that the result of all this thing in inside this uh, brackets is true. So when I apply a not here, it's obviously going to reverse the Boolean value, which means true is going to be changed to false. So there we go, false is the result. So yeah, I think that's it. That's all about how to implement or how to use comparison and logical operators together in Python programming language.